On the 26th of February 2015, the militant group known as Islamic State posted a video online showing the destruction of antiquities in and around the city of Mosul in northern Iraq. Here we see the destruction at Nimrud Palace, just outside Mosul, where an Assyrian winged bull from the 9th century BC is being destroyed with a pneumatic drill. The man in the video is saying, these ruins behind me, they are idols and statues that people used to worship instead of Allah. We were ordered by our prophet to take down idols and destroy them. Videos of this destruction and the resulting loss of cultural heritage and shared history caused shock and grief. Two PhD students decided to do something about it. Welcome to the virtual Mosul Museum. The Economist built this place to showcase the work of Project Mosul, a cutting-edge heritage project founded by Matthew Vincent and Chance Kokonor. The two co-founders have been collecting images of lost artefacts from the public and using a technique called photogrammetry to combine them into 3D models. Volunteers from all over the world have helped digitally reconstruct what has been destroyed and thus offer the past a future. The Cultural Museum of Mosul was established in 1952. It was the second largest museum in Iraq and contained approximately 2,200 items in four halls. We've built virtual versions of all the halls, but on today's tour, we'll focus on two that are of particular interest. Here we are in the Hatron Hall. This ancient statue of a priest was reconstructed by a volunteer nicknamed A6B8. It dates back to the second or third century AD, and like the other items in this room, was discovered in the ancient city of Hatra, southwest of Mosul. The antiquities of Hatra are significant because they embody a fusion of ancient cultures following the conquests of Alexander the Great. They show how new trends in religion, the arts and other aspects of life spread across the Arabian Peninsula. Here we see a marble tablet from the first century AD depicting Nurgal, the equivalent of the Greek Hades, god of the underworld. We are now in the Assyrian Hall. Matthew Vincent of Project Mosul calls this lion his favorite piece. It's a defiant creature symbolizing the spirit of the project. Every time Project Mosul updates its photogrammetry system, this lion is used to test it. Photogrammetry is a technique for creating three-dimensional models using photographs taken from different angles. It's becoming a common tool for the preservation of cultural heritage. One of the main challenges and achievements of Project Mosul is its use of crowdsourced images taken by different people at different times that were not intended to be used for photogrammetry. Take a quick look at the video screen. In the case of the wall relief you see here, video stills were used to reconstruct the artifact. Since February 2015, thousands of photographs have been uploaded to the Project Mosul website by local people, tourists, and even American soldiers who were deployed to the area during the Iraq war. This collective participation is one of the things that make Project Mosul so special. Its reconstructions provide an opportunity for people to enjoy and study these destroyed artifacts. But the advent of digital reconstructions also raises questions about their ownership and use, and the extent to which they can act as substitutes for the originals. There are also worries that focusing on artifacts risks diverting attention from human suffering in conflict zones. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to the Virtual Mosul Museum, a co-creation of Project Mosul and The Economist.